Okay, today we're bringing you an update of all the games and movies we're looking forward to in the coming months. Coffee Talk, I'm your host, Linda Richmond. Oh! Oh! <laughs> You're telling me I had to. I'm not cussing like you were. You were getting <laughs> vulgar. <laughs> well, first, let's talk about a game that just came out. <laughs> Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice, looks epic. It does. I if you haven't it. seen it, it's like a I legit really want samurai game that makes me want to... Watch Ninja Turtles three, and I've and <laughs> yeah, I've been reading because I'm a big Dark Souls fan, so I've been reading. It's the same developers, obviously. So it's the developers from Dark Souls one, two, and um, three, uh, known for their combat uh, mechanics and button pushing and all that. Uh, very difficult game. But apparently, it plays very different. And like, if you use the same gameplay style to survive and beat the game as you did in those Dark Souls games, apparently it's like it'll, the game will, Sekiro will destroy you. You have to like yeah. relearn the whole system. So I watched... It's um, pretty cool. I'll try and find the video I watched and link it, but the video I watched, they were... Um, he was playing it and talking through and answering the questions for GameStop or whoever um, it was interviewing him, but he was basically saying that it's learning. Mm -hmm. So you can't do the same thing over and over. Mm -hmm. So you can't just button mash or learn like one combo that works and do it. It's very right. intuitive and there's a lot of, there's a shield breaking mechanic. Um, yeah, that, like to what you were saying, so, they're basically saying you can't do the same thing over and over. Right. Every one of the, spe it's kind of like the Witcher. There's a special potion, serum, right. oil or whatever you have to do to go with which kind of sword or whatever to prep for each bad guy. It's very similar to that. But the, what the, from what they were saying is you're able to actually play the game easier like you don't have to be some expert amazing video game player and know all the combos once you kind of learn them it's still difficult but right. if you're on the lower settings you'll get through it and it'll still be an enjoyable experience something cool i thought was in uh, <clears throat> in dark souls there's a lot of dodging involved you have to roll and dodge and everything that's a huge gaming mechanic of dark souls the five d's yeah. duck, <laughs> dodge dip dive and duck <laughs> And this is Blade, Laser, Blazer, <laughs> Blade, and my consigliere, Michel. Michel. <laughs> Nobody makes me bleed my own blood, Fleur. Nobody. Okay, so apparently in Sekiro, you can, dodging won't get you anywhere. You have to actually learn the mechanics of sword fighting and blocking and like parrying and all that kind of stuff. So that's kind Sir of cool. is really good at naked sword I'm fights. <laughs> well, that's good. Okay, so Borderlands 3. Is coming. Which we're very excited about. We very love excited. Love Borderlands. He doesn't like Epic. I don't care. I, I want that game in and around my mouth. I, <laughs> now. I want it now. And I want to play it. And I want to laugh my butt off while playing it. That is the uh, the best looter shooter game. I still series. don't know why they call them looter shooter. Because you loot and No, you I shoot. get it, but it's... It's not, it's looter loot shooter? shoots the thing. Why is everything out of rhyme? It sounds stupid. Any huevos rancheros. <laughs> <laughs> so that's coming out. Do we have a release date on that mofo? I don't think so. I think it's third quarter. I think it's going to be right around when the iPhones and everything other electronic on the planet comes out around October. And then they'll come out with a mobile version at the same time. And I hope. You know, what, you know what I... <laughs> Borderlands Run. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be... It'll be one of those swipe left and yeah. right to dodge things. And it'll yeah. be clop trap that's mm -hmm. running. It's like zzz. Yeah, and you'll and you'll you'll control it like this. Exactly. And it'll be way it'll be way clunkier on the iPad because right. it's the same processor and twenty five times yeah. the megapixels. Um uh Borderlands 3. The man. Borderlands. I'm Super excited. Awesome. Uh, yeah. And there's new remasters. Uh, there's Borderlands 1 remaster that just came out, I believe, yesterday or today. Uh, Supposedly, if you already own the original version... You get a free update. You get a free update. They're going to give you the game for free, um, which is legit. And they didn't just upgrade graphics, which a lot of remasters do. It's just a money grab. But they actually put new stuff into it that make it similar 
gameplay as like Borderlands 2 pre-sequel. They put shift keys in there. They put new guns in there. All bunch of cool stuff. So they actually like did work on it. So Gearbox is a good developer. Yeah. I like what they do. Gearbox, man. Love those guys. Let's see. What else do we have coming out? Except for them going on. <coughs> we have <laughs> Mortal Kombat 11 comes out. In my eyes, April. Borderlands got delayed. That's how I look at it. But, well, what's funny is Borderlands 3 wasn't supposed to happen, according to all publicity for a long from while, Gearbox yeah. for years. That other game came out. What the heck was that called? The, the game died instantly. It, died it was instantly. like a Overwatch kind of game. It was like over, but it was like uh, it was like Overwatch on a really really big map, and you had to take over points. Like it right. was very specific. It wasn't like 20 different kinds of gameplay. There wasn't capture the flag or any of that.